Neat Nation, welcome back to the Droopy Whiskey Show, where, yeah, we're dropping another one. I'm excited, I'm inspired, I'm compelled, I'm propelled. Pick your adjective, or I'm pretty sure those are adjectives. Uh, what I'm doing tonight is I'm going to taste um, a, a bucket list bottle, if you will. I'm going to open a bottle from my collection. I think I'm going to do a series. Uh, life has a way of showing you that you will die. Life, life's going to kill you one day. Uh, many of you had heard that my brother was diagnosed with cancer in the fall. It's been six months since his diagnosis, and he's been going through treatment. He, stage four cancer uh, started his testicular cancer metastasized in his liver and lungs. It's been a fight. Um, at this point, he's getting ready for another round of treatment. Uh, and in his words, it's a coin flip. It's a heavy, heavy situation. Um, sort of. So what I want to do is, in, but ironic because he doesn't drink. But but in his honor, um, I want to do this series, and and I'd like to have it benefit him. Um, he has a GoFundMe. Of course, I've already contributed to that personally, uh, but would like to invite Nation to do that as well. So if you appreciate the content, if you wouldn't mind considering just dropping a few bucks in my brother's GoFundMe, the link is right down below. Uh, married, four kids, r real tough, tough stitch. But if you're just here for the bourbon content, that's fine. It's fine. No pressure. No big ish. Uh, we'll get after it. So what is the bucket list bottle? What's Drew opening? Uh, a bottle from his collection look like well it's not your run-of-the-mill store pick stuff like this is gonna be bangers only bangers banger territory here uh, and so the way I, I wanted to start was probably the bottle that I think I will like the most the bottle I'm most jacked about amped about that I've just been keeping away for a special occasion this is a special occasion hard occasion but special occasion what is that well it's this it is a 12 year old old scout single barrel. This is MGP stuff. This is back when MGP was MGP, back when bourbon was good. Uh, you know, Smooth Ambler kind of made their name with the old scout brand, sourcing stuff, well aged stock from MGP and bottling it. They had the really awesome seven, seven year, like uh, 99 proof. That was good stuff. They have 10 year, which I actually have a bottle of that. Maybe that'll show up in the series. The 10 year, 100 proof stuff, gold cap. But then the well aged single barrels were the, the haymaker. This is uh, one of the last ones they bottled. Uh, 2018, bottled 424 2018 by Ashton. It is 12 years old. 54.5% uh, alcohol by volume. The secondary value on this is obscene, uh, and I'm gonna open it. <laughs> uh, try not to think about it too much, but it's for a good cause, right? Uh, it's for you, it's for my brother, and, and off we go. So, uh, I need to probably acclimate my palate before getting into this, so it's not the first whiskey I try, but then uh, we're gonna bottle pop. So before we get into that, what would be, so let's start with some younger MGP. So we're at least in the family here. We'll do a little tasting of smoke wagon. Uncut, unfiltered, which I really like this. This is good stuff, big fan of this. This is batch 90 of Uncut, Unfiltered. And it's just classic, you know, middle of the road MGP, barrel, uh, barrel proof, which is great. What I love about MGP bourbon, it tends to be really fruity. Like, sweetness is generally there. If you can get some oak in it, great. Like, on the well-aged stuff, I'm hoping for oak, color-wise. Doesn't look like it's gonna be an issue. Um, but you get a re really nice sweetness with fruit. Man, like berries, paired with some herbaceous spicy notes, and it's just uh, dynamic, like tasting notes for days. As much as I hate the tasting note, uh, in terms of sweetness, it is kind of caramely. Werther's original chewy caramels, or hard caramels, but that family, it's kind of like, you know, fake blueberry. Um, got like some fake, uh, like blue cotton candy kind of, and then raspberry, kind of this almost tartness. 
just a, a touch touch of mint, black pepper, some nutmeg, cinnamon stuff going on. But I, I feel like I could sip this for a full evening and just enjoy it. I've been saving this because I love it so much. It's a really, really good batch. Uh, that, you know, at 70 bucks feels like a decent value. Like, really good bourbon, 70 bucks. Generally here for that. Feeling ready. <coughs> Excuse me. Shout out Liquid Death. Hydrate. Uh, I love Liquid Death, by the way. Not an endorsement. We are uh, not in any way sponsored by Liquid Death. Uh, but I would I would sponsor them for sure. Uh, it is. I'm a big bubbly water guy. Flavored bubblies, Lacroix, things of that nature. Uh, this actually has some sweetener in it, though. A little bit of agave nectar syrup, uh, but only three grams of sugar worth. But it adds a lot. Uh, berry one is fine, buried alive. Mango chainsaw, though, is my favorite. Severed lime on that. Take it away. All right. I'm going to check the camera, make sure everything's working, and then we're going to bottle pop this. Okay. Here we go. Big moment where I flush 600 bucks. <laughs> Don't know my wife. Uh, so, where did I get this? I traded for this. I don't remember what I traded. It was reasonable. Like, uh, I got the better end of the deal, I think, in terms of uh, value, ascension, appropriation. We got some plastic. Gosh, I hope this is good. Bottle pop. Pretty solid. It is a real cork that's kind of dry, but it had a good, good seal on it. So cork is in good condition. That That is already encouraging. Ooh, wow. break it down for you peeps oh golly it smells oaky but not over oak uh, a, a campfire in in hardwoods uh, barbecue sauce oh man this is nose wise everything everything that I would hope for like plums, molasses, drippy, drippy sweetness, but there's a lot of savory going on. Nothing mushroomy, not earthy, but I mean, it's, we're talking about smoked meats, bourbons I've had that this reminds me of just based on smell before we get into the palate here. I don't want to overblow it, but this is Michter's 20 stuff. This is, this is Russell's 13 stuff. It's just hearty. It, it smells like it was in the barrel for a real long time. Just 12 years, that's all. But uh, there seems to be some uh, wood interaction. Okay. Let's taste it now. I'm hyped. I am amped getting into this. Whoa. Whew. I was so nervous to open this bottle, I can't even tell you. Mainly because, given the secondary value, not that I bought or sold anything on secondary in over two years, but given the value, if this sucks <laughs> and I open it, that is gonna, that's gonna be a bummer. Uh, thankfully, that is not the territory we are in. It's gonna be hard to not drink this, like slam it, because, wow. Just an envelopey sweetness with a fruit roll-up, kind of like strawberry candy. We got these things, I think, from Costco that's like fruit rope, but it looks like Big League Chew. It's delicious. There's a blackberry and strawberry kind. If you kind of rolled those together, that would kind of be the fruity elements of this, but then the oak is, is big time. But it's not super drying. Like, it's less drying than Russell's, not Russell's, uh, Remus 5 but with just as much oak. 
up front that's like vanilla paste, really smooth, sweet, kind of mild florality. Then you get fruitiness, and then it kind of leaves you with this, oh yeah, you just drank from the chalice of old trees. But the like the best kind of old trees, like the loins of an ant. I mean, the, the smell, the nose is fantastic. I mean, the palate is, is equal to it, but I don't, honestly, I don't know if I even need to drink it. It's just extraordinary. Finish is, is great. Just like little sips and let it kind of evaporate on the palate. If you're a fan of well-aged bourbons, Knob Creek 12, cast strength. Like I said, uh, Remus 5, Russell's 13, uh, Buffalo Trace Antique Collection, Old Knob Creek, uh, 14 year single barrels. Yeah, I mean, there's a reason this stuff is so highly sought after. It's because it's friggin' delicious. Is it overhyped? Well, nothing's probably worth $600. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. I don't know. That's that's for you to judge. I didn't pay $600. So given my investment, I'm, I'm so thrilled because it's just world-class world-class bourbon right here it's a little bubble gum in there the kind of green herbaceousness i was talking about related to uh the uh smoke wagon uncut unfiltered it's been aged out and it feels like all just fruit buttercream frosting these vanilla sweet oak we'll let it open up i'll probably post on the instagrams in the next couple days giving a little update some updated thoughts i'm gonna let it sit <laughs> Then come back uh, for another pour. Try not to drink it all at once. Uh, but yeah, big, big fan of this. And I'm glad that I'm going to drink it. All right, peeps. Remember, what you have today will be someone else's tomorrow. Your stereo is going to be someone else's stereo. And your bourbon is going to be someone else's bourbon. Unless you drink it. But, but drink in moderation. Okay? Again, if you want to contribute to my brother's GoFundMe in the uh, the show notes below, more Droopy Whiskey content coming at you soon, okay? All right, appreciate you all very much. Have a good rest of your day, and keep it neat.